Today we are talking all about power and the power presented to us today is through this BTO Man Flash Speed 1500. Now then, if you've been watching my channel for very long, you know it's all about the lithium power for us. Whether we are 920 amp hours in our Airstream, all the way down to the smaller battery power banks that I use to power our Starlink, we always want to have plenty of power. Our life is basically, you know, designed now to be able to charge these guys and Starlink, whatever it may be, even run our air conditioner and our Airstream when not plugged in. And so what I want to talk about today is this. Now, they did send this to me for free for a review, and I have reviewed several of these throughout the years. But I can tell you one thing. The technology is getting insane. And here's what I love about this one. They call it flash speed for a reason. Now then you can purchase any battery bank and they're going to do all the exact same thing. That is, you're going to plug something in and it's going to power it. You're going to plug your phone in and it's going to charge it. That's not the, the big winner here. What the big winner with the flash speed 1500 is how quickly it recharges. So this is 1548 watt hours. That is a lot of power. It's got a built-in inverter. It will produce 1,500 watts of continuous power, meaning this will tackle any coffee machine, any CPAP machine, anything you throw at it, basically, this guy can handle with, actually, it can surge up to 3,000 watts, which is pretty amazing for something in this form factor. So if we talk about the form factor for a second, it's, it's pretty small considering how much power it produces. And again, remember, your battery bank is in here. It's got the inverter in there. It's got all the electronics, the charger, everything packed into this one thing. Fantastic handles. It even has a little flashlight on the back. And so it's really thoughtful. It weighs 41 pounds. Now, this is heavy, and that battery banks are heavy. I mean, batteries do weigh something. Uh, but 41 pounds for this, for 1,548 watt hours, is fantastic. But let's get into that charging speed. That is what is so impressive. Zero to 100% in an hour. When I've got my very first battery bank, you know, five, six years ago, uh, that was basically about half of the, uh, the, the battery capacity of this. It was like seven to eight hours when plugged into a household outlet to charge it. If you wanted to do solar or DC charging, that was 12 to 15 hours of charge time. This guy right here will plug in and go zero to 100% in an hour. When I pulled it out of the box, I think it was sitting around 82%. I plugged it in, and if you know anything about lithium batteries, uh, 80 to 100% charge times is the longest in the charge curve, right? So zero to 80% goes pretty quick. 80 to 100% that takes a long time. So this was around 82%. I plugged it in and I'm not kidding. Within minutes, it was at 100%. Super, super impressive. And that's where this guy really stands out. Now I'm sure all of them are really checking that box and getting their charge times, you know, um, up there, all of the brands. But this guy I'm really, really impressed with. It's really thoughtful and again, one thing that I absolutely love about it as well is it has a storage for all of its charge cables. And that comes with an AC charge port. It also comes with a DC charge port, a cigarette style adapter, cigarette lighter style adapter. But anyway, so let's talk a little bit about what this can power, how long it can power them, and exactly how this can make your life better. Okay, let's talk about powering the Starlink Mini. Now this is what we carry when we travel around in our Airstream and have as a backup internet source in case, you know, our internet goes out at home. We're here at our cabin in Breckenridge. So several ways you can power it, including a cigarette lighter adapter that I have. You could also power it through these using the AC adapter Starlink gives you. I don't advise that because powering these outlets also require using the inverter which takes power away from your battery. So that's not the most efficient way to do it. My favorite way is using a USB cable. 
that you can get. You can get it directly from uh, Starlink or you can purchase them on Amazon. Now the one thing you have to make sure of is you've got enough power in that USB outlet. Now these come with two 100 watt power delivery outlets that is going to power the Starlink just fine. Starlink needs a minimum between 30 to 60 watts depending on what it's doing. So you want to make sure that that 100 watt power delivery is there. It really, really uh, does it very efficiently. So if you look on here, I don't know if you can see that because of the uh, the reflection uh, and the VTO man is saying we can power from looks like about 45, 48 hours continuous on this one battery bank. That's two days of usage for your Starlink and then all you got to do is go plug it into an outlet and it will charge back in one hour. And there you have it. That is the BTO Man Flash Speed 1500. Now this video is being released during Prime Days on Amazon and I'll have that link down below. And I will say it is on sale for an amazing price considering what this is. And so snag it while you can. Even if you miss Prime Days on it and the price does go back up a bit, this is worth it. I can say you will not be disappointed if you are looking at a uh, a medium-sized power bank, 1,548 watt-hours, and super fast charge rate. So this guy fits all the bill. So anyway, with that being said, we will see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and give me the old thumbs up if you think about it. I appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one.